I know normally you see Allison telling you about the amazing house she's doing an open house at, but I decided to come out with her today. 32185 Watoga Loop, Union Park, Wesley Chapel, 635 is the asking price. It's a five bedroom, three bath, 3,000 square foot home with a water view and a preserved lot. So these were things that uh, were um, add-ons when they bought this house. This was built in 2018. We're going to go in and see what Allie does during an open house. I'm curious. I haven't been to an open house in a while. Some of you may even know how much I enjoy open houses. So let's spy on her and see what she's doing. Welcome to my open house. I'm a emo on my open house. Three bedrooms. Two. No. <laughs> Already did that. Okay. I said I've never been out to an open house lately, so here we are just spying on you and what you do. Well, right now I'm waiting for you to Give come. Give us the behind the scenes. Okay. I get here, I turn on all the lights, I make sure everything's nice and sparkling clean, do a walkthrough of the house and say, okay, is this ready to sell? No? Yeah. That's, that's is this ready to sell? I think this is ready to sell. Nice. $635,000. Mm -hmm. Five bedrooms, plus an office, three car garage, big usable kitchen, resort style pool, community. I mean, it's walking trails, tennis courts, basketball courts, a luxury pool, fitness center, and you also have this is your backyard conservation with Long Lake View. Yeah, wow. Cool. Yeah, that's a big lake. And that's a real lake. That's not one of those little, let's dig a hole and move some dirt around lake. That's a real lake. True wildlife, true views. I mean, I'd love to sit out here and have a nice glass of wine. And There was some wildlife right there. Your wildlife. Wild action. <laughs> Wild Florida. <laughs> Listen, honestly, this is something that a lot of the houses in here don't have. So this was a lot premium when they purchased. Um, to not have anyone behind you is significant. So that mm. when you're outside grilling and entertaining, you're not hearing people right behind you. Yeah. Kind of. A and look, look, so I don't sit right next to my neighbor. I love my neighbor. But I mean, when they're sitting outside, they have privacy. So do I. And I go this way and there's juts out a little bit further. So, I mean, and that's a big wide pie shaped lot because we're on a bend. So, I mean, you got a lot of side yard. You could easily put in your own pool. If you kids like. could be out here doing a pool. Um, you know, if they are baseball or soccer players, I mean, they got a place to kind of actually be when you just don't want them in the house anymore. <laughs> no. Why don't we go through and... Uh, All right, so let's do a walkthrough. Up front, we have an office and a great thing about this is that it's on trend for everyone that are working from home these days um, so that you have a place where you could completely close off that's separated from everyone and work, right? And you could obviously black out these doors to make it so it's more private. Right. And if you buy it, we have one less cowboy fan in the neighborhood. It's always a good thing, isn't it? Always a great thing. <laughs> Pantry. For when you make your Costco run, you do have a little butler's pantry-ish yeah. area here, coffee bar. Kind of hide your coffee and everything. Yep. And I think there's a, I wouldn't say a, maybe an in-law suite downstairs. But it probably yeah, wouldn't be a master. In-law suite. This is a great working kitchen. Tons of cabinet space because if you swing around, Peter, you have this whole bar over here to work on plus an island as like your command center. With water in the island. Water in the island, dishwasher, yep. plenty of seating, and it's nice and rounded, so it's not too close. I like the aesthetic of it. Dining room, dining area. People are getting away from formal dining rooms. We use ours sporadically. Yep. Um, and I think a lot of people also use theirs sporadically. So it's great that you do have a specified dining area. If you're entertaining, there's plenty of room for people to This eat. is lined up for watching a Rays game. <laughs> Look at that. We got a perfect lineup. <laughs> Found my seat. Right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you do have an open concept, right? Opening up to 
Yeah, I mean, it's a gathering room. And it, also, I mean, let's look down at the floor real quick. It's tile. We like tile because it is Florida. We do have a lot of sand. It's very forgiving. Just gets dirty. Yep. So Where downstairs we have bedroom number one. Guest bedroom. You mm -hmm. know, we do live in Florida. People do want to come. It's a queen. And visit. I think yeah, it's a queen. That's a queen. Tall ceilings. Um, Walk-in shower. Little peekaboo. Yeah. So granite. Mm -hmm. Three car garage. <laughs> it's a game changer. A three car garage is something because let's face it, it's we, your basement. We don't have basements, right? So three car garage. You could put your golf cart, all your goodies. Still have cars. It's great. Yeah. I mean, you know, this is what a lot of basements look like. Unfortunately, we don't have them. You don't want one here. No. The other one. It could be wet. <laughs> so let's go upstairs because that is where we have almost like the reverse of a basement. Am I still taping? Yeah. Okay. Oh, six minutes. Ooh. Thanks, guys, for putting up with us for six minutes. I don't know why it wouldn't flop around, so I'm hoping this comes out all right. I just... Okay, Keep so, the camera on the talent. So upstairs here, we have your great room. Mm -hmm. Okay, great room, entertaining. This is where you put your kids over. Thank you. My talent's messing up. Come on. I'm working blind here. <laughs> um, Probably 20 by 15. You do have light, it, it's again, it's your reverse basement. This is where the kids can play room and it's away too. So you're downstairs, you're cooking, the kids can be upstairs making a racket, having fun. And it's not, they're tucked away, but not. Um, we have off to the left here, your master bedroom. Huge. Yeah, it is, it's a lot bigger than that one I visited. Huge. Right before I got here. I mean, this is king with ample space. Mm -hmm. Um, cool thing is it's a pass-through shower. So we a have pass-through shower. We have your toilet. TC. TC. DS. <laughs> Dual sinks. Shower. Soaking ST. tub. And this is really cool in the fact that your soaking tub kind of has a view too. So it is. Yeah, really. I mean, glass of wine. I could, I could handle that, right? It's nice. And then you do have, <laughs> this have could a be a closets. freaking room for some people. I, it's a huge closet. This is a New York City apartment. Yeah. Yeah. And the outlets are so close, so you can fill that up very easily. All right, so now we have three more bedrooms, right? Exciting. Trace Moss by Dormiers. Trace Moss. <laughs> Quartos. Oh, Sorry, my Spanish is a little. This is a great storage closet. This home is put together very well in the fact of functionality of it. So you do have. I think Allie's put together very well. She does. She just portrays professionalism. <laughs> Laundry room's upstairs, which is great because most of your bedrooms, your primary is upstairs. This is just. Air conditioning. Why? Because they have basements. Look at that view. That's a pretty cool view too for another home office. Right. Like I said, it's not it's not just one of those little piddly. Oh look, we went like your waterfront. No, you're really waterfront mm -hmm. because that's a real lake. Dan, if you buy this house, that blanket goes with it. Are you gonna give him an eagles one? <laughs> I will. I will splurge for an eagles one. So you buy this house. You get Eagles gear. This is kind of the kids wing, if you call it like that, or whatever you like to consider it, because here's that bathroom number three, mm -hmm. dual sinks, tub. Kids so shower. The shower. Kids shower with yep. the tub in it. Um, it's tucked away. Again, two more great size rooms. Yeah, that's another queen. This is another queen. And the closet is pretty sizable too. Mm-hmm. 
Um, let's see here. Schools. This is A-rated schools, which is very important considering mm -hmm. it. Wiregrass. Your, your community is... Big school. They're good in sports. Yeah. Yeah. Again, it's... Not as good as Osceola, but, you know, that's just because... You're biased. Yeah. <laughs> But Wiregrass doesn't have any girls that hit a home run in their first high school at bat. I bet not. I'll put money on it. I think Gigi is one of the only. <laughs> She's it. Yeah. So yeah, three, two, one, eight, five, Watoga. Look, here's your street. Well, just look out the front. Yeah. No cars on the street, HOA, deed restricted. And this is a Sunday. It's beautiful. It's a Sunday. People are, a lot of people out jogging. Um, you know, kids were playing on their scooters and stuff out front, drove by the pool. There's people out there. I mean, this is just, it's, it's a well put together neighborhood and we've seen some that aren't, aren't. let's just say there's just some that aren't. So it's a nice place to call home. Would you say yeah. we should wrap it up because it's about we'll that time to start welcoming people through to our open house. Five bedrooms, three car garage. Florida's waiting for you, so come by it. 727-777-2353, Allison Peter. Have a great day.